A while back, probably about a month ago by the time this goes out, I made a video about the proposal to give the individual overground lines their own names and colours on the tube map. And that set me thinking, should we do the same with the Docklands Light Railway? Well, I say it set me thinking, what I mean is a number of people asked that question in the comments section. So, many thanks to those people, you are the prompt to my video today. Like the Overground, the DLR is something that started out very basic, but has become more complex over time. When it was first planned, it was a low-budget solution to the problem of providing transport connections to the Docklands. To give you an idea of how low budget, it was budgeted at £77 million, which, adjusting for inflation, comes to just over £206 million. That would buy less than three trains on the modern system. Initially it was pretty simple, a line from Island Gardens to Tower Gateway in Stratford. Since then, it's grown more and more complex with extensions to Bank, Beckton, Lewisham, London City Airport, Woolwich Arsenal and Stratford International. What had once been a bare minimum rail service has become a heavily used metro network and an important part of London's economy. With complexity comes confusion. There are seven termini. At present, there are three lines. One is from Tower Gateway to Beckton. The second is from Lewisham to Bank and Stratford. The third is from Woolwich Arsenal to Bank and Stratford International. I should clarify that I'm going by TFL's map of the DLR here. We could argue that there are in fact five lines, because two of the lines branch off in two directions, ending up in very different parts of East London. This can be confusing. You can't get a direct train from Bank to Stratford International, even though they're nominally on the same line. You can't go from Tower Gateway to Woolwich Arsenal without changing trains. But on the tube map, the lines are all the same colour, a teal outline. Should they get different colours? Should they get separate names? While it's only one colour on the tube map, the DLR itself has always had separate maps that make things a little clearer. The first maps portrayed the line from Island Gardens to Stratford in red and from Island Gardens to Tower Gateway in green. These days they use different shades of sort of greeny blue, or bluey green, or turquoise, aquamarine, teal, whatever you want to call it. These maps are only displayed on the DLR itself, and in media specifically related to the DLR. So that, in a sense, is the argument for. The DLR does have separate lines, and those lines have always been officially acknowledged. But I think there's also a strong argument against. The biggest argument is geographical. The overground is, in some ways, more of a category than a coherent system. It consists of railway lines in and around London, now operated by Transport for London, that may or may not be connected. There are 113 stations, and the knowledge that your destination is on the overground is of somewhat limited use. So it does make sense to distinguish those lines. The DLR, on the other hand, is a much smaller network. It consists of 45 stations, often spaced very closely together, on three lines. None of those three lines are completely separate from each other, and all of them share some track with the others. Changing between lines is usually a pretty simple affair, although admittedly Stratford and Canning Town are a little more complicated. The service is very frequent. If you should happen to make a mistake, it's easy to correct. If we look to the future, we may find more arguments both for and against. As I say, the DLR has grown a great deal over the past three and a half decades, and the chances are that it will continue to grow in the future. I think there's a strong argument for getting Thamesmead, Dagenham Dock and Barking Riverside on the DLR, and all three have been proposed as possible extensions at various times. Some wilder ideas have involved extending further into the city, or even into the West End. It's unlikely that all of these will happen, indeed with TfL's finances being where they are, it may be the case that none of them will at any time in the near future. But let's imagine that they did. The network would become much larger and more sprawling, and I think then you would have more of an argument for splitting the lines up. However, there is a strong possibility that the DLR network is going to shrink slightly. Tower Gateway is a bit of an anomaly. 
It was the city terminus for the entire DLR, but now the better connected bank is the favourite, and only Beckton trains run from Tower Gateway. As it is the only station on its little branch of the DLR, and it's in the way of potential expansion of Fenchurch Street, its closure has been seriously proposed, in which case all city trains would terminate at Bank. If this happens, it will become even harder to classify the different lines as separate entities. Rather, I think we'll have a situation more akin to some of the underground lines, which might branch off in different directions, but are still considered the same line. So overall, based on the size of the network, the nature of its services, and the likely future events that will affect it in the future, I don't think there is a strong argument to separate the lines of the DLR. But of course, the DLR, the rail network, and London itself continue to evolve. So who knows what the future may bring. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, a thumbs up would be much appreciated, and you may wish to click that subscribe button for more. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with my conclusion, or do you think there's more to the argument for separating the lines? I don't live in the Docklands, and I'm only a fairly intermittent user of the network, so other people's thoughts would be most welcome. I would like to thank my donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your always generous support. You are the Becton to my Tower Gateway. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.